Okay, um, here is, <clears throat> excuse me, 17.4. And 17.4 is a lot like the example that we were looking at. And uh, for me, it was just a few minutes ago. So um, this bar is being held up and um, it's rotating. The whole apparatus is rotating at five radians per second. Um, but what's new compared to the last one is that we've got this force um, acting on us uh, right there, okay? So because it is, um, again, it's sort of a thing that's moving in a circle, like so, then we're going to need to go with normal here and let's say tangential this time this way oops just a d okay just like that we'll identify our forces come in here and we can see that we've got this guy a tb and i'll call this guy a td and then of course we've got the weight which is right here in g okay now this this one's actually a little bit simpler because everything is aligned with the normal already i mean the weight is already aligned with the normal tensions are already aligned with the normal the miss the new force 100 is aligned with the tangential so that's pretty straightforward Okay, so look at the symmetry with TB and TD. Um, if we put those into our moment relationship, we're going to have that TB, which is one meter away, and that's negative, plus TD, which is also one meter away, is equal to zero, and so TB is equal to TD. Okay. All right. Long story short, if the two supports are parallel and they're equally spaced from the center of mass, it's, it's very reasonable <laughs> that they are going to be uh, equal. Okay. All right. Let's go to our normal force, Newton's law. And so in this case, then, um, TB and TD are equal. I'm just going to put in here that we've got two tensions and then minus MG. And that has to be equal to M omega squared R. And the centripetal acceleration is up. So that's in our positive normal direction. And um, so we don't have to muck around with anything. We can just leave that um, as positive. Okay. It's going to double check my notes. Yes. Okay. Now, if we plug in our value for mass, uh, our value for omega, which is five, then uh, the tension turns out to be 1183. Okay, and you're going to want to work through that math on your own and make sure that that seems reasonable to you. Okay, um, let's get to our next equation then. Okay, what's happening with the transverse stuff? Um, transverse, sorry, <laughs> tangential stuff. All right, is that we've got our force of 100 and it's in the positive direction. And that's the only force that's in that direction. So we can come along here and say this is an MR alpha. Okay, now is it gonna be positive or is it gonna be negative? So let's take a look over here. So in terms of acceleration, we said this was positive for translational. That's a rotation that's like this well, and that's also positive for alpha. So we'll pick positive. 
that's going to work just fine for us in here like this so if we put an m and we put an r then we work out that the angular acceleration alpha Oh, I didn't work it out. Anyway, you can see what it is. I'm not going to work it out. You can do that. Okay, it's 100 over MR, which is going to be 100 over 50 times 1.5. That, that'll get the angular acceleration there. Okay. Find the tension, find the angular acceleration. All right. We got it all. How cool is that?